Hello everyone! In this video, we will introduce you to the Alice Player and walk you through the process of installing Alice Player and the VR software step by step. By the end of this video, you will be able to run your Alice project with the VR headset. Let's get started. So why are we interested in running Alice projects with the VR? Alice 3 is an ongoing project, and one of its newest developments is the capability of using virtual reality, VR for short, to create truly 3D visualizations and immersive worlds. A VR world is similar to a normal Alice world, only instead of viewing it on a 2D screen and interacting with a mouse and keyboard, you use a VR headset, which makes it appear to be a 3D world, since you can move your head and interact with a joystick. Requirements by the end of this tutorial, you will use, configure, and have installed the following. A computer that is capable of running a Quest. The Oculus Quest 2. This is the VR headset we will be using. You will also need to download and install Alice 3. This is the main software we will be using to create Alice projects. Then, we will also download and install the Oculus app on phone so that we can pair the phone to the Oculus Quest. You will also need to install SideQuest and necessary ADP drivers. These are needed to install apps on the headset. Finally, you will need to download and install the Alice Player APK to run your Alice Worlds on the VR. Next, we will install drivers. You may skip this step if you are working on Android, Mac, or Linux. Please go to the website displayed here and then follow the steps shown in this video. Next, we will need to create an Oculus organization. To allow installing apps and games on your headset, you need to enable the developer mode. To do this, you have to be a registered developer on the Oculus website. This process is free, quick, and easy to set up. Go to the website displayed here and follow the steps in this video. Install the Oculus app on the phone and enable the developer mode. Please note that before you are able to turn on the developer mode, you should pair your phone with the headset. The Oculus phone app can be downloaded from the Play Store if you are using Android or from the App Store if you are using iOS. To enable the developer mode, open the Quest app on your phone, then go to Menu option down below, click on Devices, 
and if your headset is on, it will detect it and it will show the connected icon here. Go down, then select developer mode and turn it on. Now, it's time to connect the USB cable from the headset to your computer. Once you are connected, you will have to allow USB debugging access on your headset. If you put on your headset at this point, you will see a message asking you about allowing this computer to connect to your headset. We recommend selecting Always Allow from this computer to prevent this message from popping up every time you connect. Next, open SideQuest on your computer. You should now see a green dot on the top left corner, indicating that a VR headset has been detected. It will also display the VR headset's name. Next, we need to install the Alice Quest APK using SideQuest. Go to the website displayed here, then go down, click on Quest VR to download. Now, Make sure your headset is connected to SideQuest and follow the steps shown in this video to make sure that the APK is installed. Now that you have installed the Alice Player APK on your headset, it's time to run it. Put on your headset and turn the power on. After you log in and set up Guardian, you should see a lobby like this. On the bottom right of the panel, click on Apps, then click on the upper right corner drop down and select Unknown Sources. The Alice Player will be shown here. Click on it and it will load a screen. The very first time you run the Alice Player on VR, it will load an empty world. As you can see here in this Alice world, you can look around and move your hands. This world, however, is not interesting. So our next step is to load our own Alice worlds with objects and interactions. Click on the icon named Install APK File from Folder on Computer. Find the folder with the Alice Player APK. Hit Open. Then, you will notice there is a one red icon at the top. If you click on that one icon, you can find that the APK is installing. After the installation is complete, you can see a notification like this and you can safely unplug your headset from your computer. Now, we will work on importing our Alice Walls into the Oculus headset. The default file format for an Alice project is A3P, so we need to convert that to a format that will be recognized by the Alice player, which is A3W. To do that, we'll select the Alice project we want to convert in this case, it's a simple game we created. After it loads, go to File, then click on Export. Select the location you want to save your Alice Wall to, and give it a name. The next step is to move your Alice Wall from the computer to your VR headset. Make sure the Oculus headset is connected to your computer then, inside the headset, click on Allow USB Debugging. Then, take off your headset, but keep it connected to your computer. The next step is to go to this PC in the File Explorer. Go to Quest 2. Click on Internal Shared Storage, then on Android, then Data, then org.alice.player, and lastly, files. 
This folder is where we will be putting our alice3world a3w files. The directory should be similar to this. Now, drag and drop the Alice World into the VR folder, and your Alice World should be ready to explore on your VR headset. So now that we know how to upload Alice Worlds into the VR headset, we can run them. Click on Apps down below, then go to the drop-down menu at the upper right corner, click on Unknown Sources, then click on the Alice Player to open it. Instead of the default empty world, this time you will be taken to an Alice lobby, where you can view the Alice world files you dragged to the folder on your computer. Let's click on any of them, say, the first one. It might take a while for the file to load, depending on how large it is. As you can see here, you can look around and move your hands with the Quest controllers. tutorial was easy to follow and we look forward to sharing more tutorials with you on how you can create interactive and fun Alice Worlds for virtual reality.